All right, beautiful people. Welcome back to another amazing and impactful episode of the True Health Forever podcast, where we try to live our best life through the lens of holistic health. I'm your host, Devon Travell, creator of Black Wall Street, the board game. And as usual, I have with me the royal, the beautiful, the intelligent, mm. the dancing, mm. the melanated queen herself. Please talk to the people. What's up, party people? My name is Sinclair, a.k.a. V. The health, health nerd. nerd. And uh, excited to join you on this Saturday morning. Yes. Switching it up this time. We're here on a Saturday morning. I'm not going to lie to you. I woke up <laughs> about 45 minutes ago. Yeah. yeah. So if I still got those morning bags under my eyes, you know, we're going to wake up. We're going to wake up throughout this. Yes, we are. <laughs> yes, we are. Uh, so as y'all got a sneak peek, we do have some amazing and esteemed guests that are going to join us in this podcast. But before we get to our amazing folks, Queen, tell us about your week, your vibes, how you feeling this, what is it, October? Ooh, October week. How you feeling? First of all, it's uh, October. That part. <laughs> what? <laughs> um, Feeling pretty good. Uh, this week was, it was busy busy week um but it was it was a good week okay. i don't have too many too many complaints uh but just a lot of uh i feel like a lot of it was a travel week yeah, you, you know lots of a lot. lots of driving driving lots of traveling uh so i got to listen to a lot of podcasts and audiobooks so mm. that's always good you but it's um, a nerd out on yeah the yeah when you when you drive you're like hmm. Hmm. <laughs> did you, you know that honey okay not just me. Um, but yeah. If you know you're talking to yourself, <laughs> it's not a problem. But if you don't know, <laughs> that's when you need some help. Yeah. Um, yeah, but I don't we had some some good uh not lots of buzz going on with potluck. Mm -hmm. We doing a new ad and got some good good feedback, some new followers, some new interested chefs to come on the app. So um yeah, that was that was good to get reinvigorated again. Mm -hmm. Um yeah. Nice. All right. And yeah. I'll do a short one. Yes, me. Um, <laughs> uh, last week was a solid week. We sold out of Black Wall Street Gore Games, you know. Thank you. Thank you. Shout out to the Adams Kingdom over there. Uh, yeah, we sold out of Games, which was completely like way ahead of schedule. Yeah. Um, luckily, we were already kind of planning. We already had games in the making. So we having uh, customers pre-order some holiday ones. But I still have that anxiety. I'm a big customer service person. I hate having people wait. So it's like, ah, long story short, we're going to make it through. We're it's still a blessing that we sold out early. It's a blessing that people are already pre-ordering. So we're going to, we're going to make it happen, happen. Right. Yes. He was very nervous to sell out. And I was kind of just, you know, assuring him one, the fact that we, we did plan for this. We have some on the way Two, you know, in the world of business, it's not the, the worst thing in the world to sell out because it means that there is demand and it will build the demand even yes. more. So if, 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 people, if we were going to be sold out for like six months, I would be worried. But God, no, I worry. <laughs> this is like maybe a month and but maybe a month and uh -huh. he's freaking out. So we'll be fine. But <laughs> I, I, I definitely appreciate you uh, grounding me, yes. holding me all the way. Down. <laughs> um, all right. So. Today, again, we have some very esteemed guests. The year is 2020, the year of perfect vision. Hey. Yet this, you know, it, it's perfect, right? <laughs> um, but, you know, this, this year has definitely been an interesting one. And I feel like some people are already looking to the next year, like 2020, you know, it was clear, but it wasn't quite it. So I'm trying to look past 2020. I'm trying to get even better vision like the queen has and figure out how I can get my goals clear, my health clear, the, my, my village around me, all that into focus and frame. So mm, I see you with the segue. I like it. I like it. I like it. I, like it. I, do, this. I, like it. I do this. We should host the podcast. Um, <laughs> So without further ado, can y'all please help me welcome the amazing Brittany and Charles Adams of Focus and Frame Eyewear. Please, Woo! round of applause. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Oh, 
All right, welcome to the podcast, y'all. We 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 thank you for coming and apologize for the delay. We're in different time zones, so the people are already, you know, I appreciate y'all patience rocking with us this morning. Oh, no problem. Right. Uh, so on the, the website, you kind of talk about how uh, really God planted this seed out of nowhere to start this eyewear company. Can you can you talk about that? Because I feel like we talk about that a little bit, how like just ideas are in the universe and they just they just come to you out of nowhere. So can you talk about that that moment or series of moments that helped y'all launch this business? Well, it really was just like. I don't know. Like it just came. It was like, hey, what about, you know, uh, glasses? And it was just like, you know, selling them. I kind of had a little bit of a sales background, um, but this wasn't something that I really thought about in this way. I've always worn glasses. But when it came to me, I was like, okay, that's cool. And I'm thinking, you know, my business mind, logistically, okay, shipping, it won't be too heavy. You know, I'm thinking of like the pricing of uh, yeah the actual product versus the shipping versus if there's issues kind of you know that's where my brain is at so I was like okay we're just gonna sell some glasses um I didn't think we would do prescription mm. um honestly it started where we were gonna try to sell glasses can you believe this now oh, we were gonna sell glasses can you believe this? <laughs> because y'all are gonna like freak yeah, out so we idea. we were saying that we were gonna sell glasses and I was looking up things like, oh, you can just pop out the lenses and change new lenses so they can buy the glasses from us and just put their prescription mm. lenses in. Well, that is not the best idea. <laughs> so, <laughs> because, you know, there's different shapes and then, you know, there's user error mm. and it's just all of that stuff. And it's just like, that's probably not the best idea. So honestly, how we knew it was real is because every little thing that just happened it like was confirmed. It was like, okay, found out how to how to sell glasses, how to get glasses. Okay, well, I don't probably think I can do prescription, but let's just try. Let's just call somebody. Let's just do some research, shot, just whatever. Right. And then I get in contact with this guy actually in Utah. And he was just talking to me about it. He was like, yeah, we could do it. And I'm on the phone like, oh my gosh, oh <laughs> my gosh, or whatever. And so, um, yeah, so we connected, but we end up not going with him because logistically it didn't make sense with us being in Texas. Um, so he, he has like a laboratory, but I got so much good information from him and we still have a great relationship and he kind of helped show me how to navigate this area. And so now we partner, we have a great laboratory that kind of we partner with and works with us. We're able to do prescription and non-prescription and it's just amazing. Like everything has just, even our laboratory that we partner with, they've been so accommodating yeah, yeah. and just everything like we have office we just do all of that there and here and everywhere um so it's that's how we knew like w- when the doors start opening it doesn't mean the work is going to be easy um right. it's still a lot of work but every step of the way it was so much com- confirmation it just blew my mind and those were just the highlights of the confirmation mm-hmm. so this is a, a joint venture between you and the husband yeah, she, right. she, she's, a, she's a CEO, but I'm the operations. I'm the guy doing the stuff at nighttime. <laughs> <laughs> oh, we, we know us. all we about it. that. We get the <laughs> <We laughs> <get> <laughs> <laughs> Um, so we want to just can you walk through this like the different roles that each of y'all play and kind of how as a team you're able to play off each other's strengths. Before we even go there, Uh I just wanted to really give just a shout out because it was there's something that you touched on that I feel like all of us here kind of were just like, well, yeah, but I really want to touch on it. And you said that you were thinking, like, how am I going to get prescription? Like, I don't even know where to start. But you just tried. You were just like, let me just call somebody and try. Mm -hmm. So if I'm talking to somebody out there where you're like, well, how am I going to do this? There's no way I'm going to be able to do this. Just pick up the phone. Just make give a call. Send an email. Just try. Because, you know, as you'll see, a lot of times you'll just start to things will just happen. You'll meet the right Right. person. You'll get the right information and things will just start to happen. And it'll, it'll make you feel a little bit better about moving, taking those steps forward. So I just wanted to shout y'all out, like, you know, to, for just taking that leap and just like, let's just try. And, you know, and it's, it definitely worked out for you. So that's Mm -hmm. awesome. Big facts. Sorry, your question. All right. Well, I'll I'll tell you, uh, as far as operation side, my part, uh, I'm over the social media, I'm over uh, kind of marketing side of things. Um, 
far as like legal stuff, I kind of look up, make sure we we're in compliance with everything. Mm. As far as like what states to sell to, what the restrictions are, things of that nature, and uh, pretty much about it so far. Nice. And then I can think of, I can think of right now. Yeah, he he. You know, with small businesses, it's like you do wherever there's a need. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> so wherever that is at the time. Um, but you know, just to kind of really speak to that is, um, as you know, as we're partners, um, he is, I definitely started, the idea kind of came to me and, and I kind of started leading the process for this business. Um, and he was down from day one and yeah. he just like, it was so crazy to me because he, he's the secret weapon. I never knew that I needed. I'm so much uh, oh, right. <laughs> you know, and just to know me like I'm super cool or whatever but I'm very like when it's business we got to get it done I'm on it I'm the I'm the talker of course you can see um, <laughs> and you know the numbers that I'm gonna make a way I'm gonna figure it out I'm gonna do this I'm gonna make these relationships I'm that person I'm gonna get it done at all costs um and so what I didn't know that I needed was somebody to say, okay, what what's this process like? To question what I'm doing. It's, it's sometimes it's frustrating to us because I'm just like, I'm trying to get all this done. And he's like, no, we need to, you know, do this. He's like to bring it back. And he's really show me about process and how mm-hmm. important that is. And just even the legal part of it. Because I'm like, let's do it. I got the plan. Let's go. <laughs> he's like, trademark um (laughs) a lawyer and just teeing all that up and i was it was a complete blind spot for me um so but basically kind of what i do is kind of everything i'm the i think my brain never stops um you know accounting um website development uh products inventory you know vendor stuff talking to people whatever so it's it's whatever whatever cleaning the toilet if i had (laughs) (laughs) <laughs> at all costs respect yeah we have a very similar setup with kind of the the different brands that we're doing as well like there'll be something where she's just amazing at and i just come in fill in a slight gap or vice versa something that i'm really good at talking creating she'd be like wait a minute what's the process how we all get this manufactured how much time yeah. i'm just like you know what that's a hmm, mm-hmm. we should think about right. that yeah, yeah. 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 <laughs> yeah, so yeah, shout, shout out to uh, the married couples yes. out here. You know what I'm saying? Getting out it's here. Right. It's hard. <laughs> yeah. In the business. I feel you. Um, can you talk about maybe some professional skills that you brought from previous jobs to your own business? I think there's a lot of people out there who are you know, like working like a nine to five job. They have amazing talent in marketing, in design, in process, in whatever it is. And they haven't made that transition to using those skills for themselves. So can you talk a little bit about maybe some skills that you were able to bring from previous jobs to now your own brand? I know me personally, I graduated from Grandma State University and I brought business management to, uh, we actually work in healthcare right right now, actually. Mm -hmm. And that's our main nine to five job. Of course, we have this as well, but not a five we're doing healthcare. Can we tell the company? No. Okay. okay. <laughs> <laughs> so we so she said company. that with a quick no. no. Don't, <laughs> don't you say it. <laughs> so that's what we do. We do and when we see healthcare, we see how much uh things cost and how you got to have insurance and it's uh outrageous co pays and like that. And we're like, how can we make stuff simple? How can mm. we make things more affordable to people? And that's kind of kind of how she got prescriptions glasses and kind of took it towards that nice um i'll say that somebody said before actually a lot of people said this before um that everything that you've ever done will make sense when Mm. you're doing what you're supposed to do Mm. so like i you know i went to i graduated from university of houston um my uh degree is in advertising my minor was in marketing wow. and I had a, and I graduated from the set with a sales certification. Yeah. And I, I currently work in like account management and never did I think that um, it was like, okay, you could do this for another company or you could do this for yourself. And I kind of, when you start not using those tools 
you just kind of they never go away you just like oh, i'm not using this i'm just thinking about it and so now doing this business it's like ignited that fire that i used to have i used to be like i love like oh reaching people in different ways and making business work i love that i've always had like the entrepreneurial spirit but you know as you grow and uh, and bills and kids and stuff that kind of <laughs> just makes it, yeah. it quiets right. down that noise yeah. um so when and that's a part of the confirmation the confirmation is when you're doing this and everything you've ever learned um even kind of some design elements i'm not the designer um, but I can I can hold a soul a little bit. <laughs> um, you know, me and Canva can have a conversation. Amen. You know, um, so it's just that's really what it is. And us being in healthcare, we 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 actually work for the same company, but like two complete different sides. So everything just added up to where what we needed for where we are right now. Love it. Wow. Love it. And where we are right now is, again, the proud team of Focus and Frame Eyewear. If you need some frames, go ahead and go to focusandframeeyewear.com. Get your frame prescription, non-prescription, sunglasses, men's wear, women's wear. They got it all. Hit them up. <laughs> um, so, of course. So can you talk a little bit about just like, again, the, the stuff that you all do offer on Focus and Frame Eyewear? And I'm very interested to know about these glasses y'all call Claire glasses. You got you got your own pair of glasses on their website. I was wow. looking for Devon. I couldn't find Devon. <laughs> no way. <laughs> Oh. That is so funny. Everybody <laughs> always like, okay, I'm looking for my name. And you know what? The way we spend, we take inspiration from everywhere and everything. Nice. So there may be a Devon very soon. Hey, I hear names, I write it down, and mm -hmm. I'm just like, okay, because in the way our business is, we have so many glasses right now. We have about 70 different styles and about 200 different variations of colors and things like that. Mm. So as we're, you know, we're going to progress. Um, and so, you know, my idea is we're going to have hundreds of stuff. Mm -hmm. um, and there's, I, I'm always going to need names. And then those styles and trends change. But uh, we offer men, of course, men uh, eyewear, women eyewear, sunglasses, children, blue block. Um, so we blue have block. some kind of. I didn't see those. Yes. All the, we Zoom, have, all the Zoom calls? You need blue yes, yeah. Zoom calls work. Yeah. Um, so with the blue box, so we have some that kind of come pre-packaged, pre like the ones I had on earlier. Um, these are like a pre-packaged blue box. And so like these are like 20 bucks, but and it's already in there if you don't need prescription. But the good thing about us is because we offer prescription fulfillment, we can also add blue block into pretty much any lens that you want mm, um yeah. even if it's not pre-packaged and you don't have to have a prescription you just put that ad in or whatever um but i do want to speak to just kind of our <laughs> products and what we what we want what we want to offer is i'm an efficiency emperor like i have to do things that make sense i can't i don't want to just do stuff because we can does it make sense so um that's kind of how we went about the product selection process as well as like we're about to get people have access so much do you all have readers do you all have readers mm -hmm. but from my end i'm thinking to myself that doesn't seem cost efficient to me because how readers are is you have to get a power um there's people need certain powers and it's like maybe nine powers and then four of them are the most popular then you have to get the certain styles um with that so i don't want to end up with a style with a power that i can't sell right. so i said how do we do that but how do we do it better so we're about to start selling um probably the end of this month or next month reader lenses um inserts so it's these small i wish i had one right near right near me but you can just put them inside of any glasses that you mm. want with the power you want so it gives you the power to choose whatever glasses you want and you can take them off and put them on something yes, that's yes. what i'm saying when we say we have to do solutions that work we could mm. do readers but let's do readers like badass <laughs> <laughs> Oh, there it is. Y'all heard it here first. Reader glasses yeah. turning badass. Come on. <laughs> let's do it. Test, test. <laughs> oh, yeah. so I want to do a, a slight, slight pivot. Still talking about glasses. 
but now uh going to use your imagination a little bit so you go off of um names for your glassware we just talked about the claire glassware which if you look on them they're nice and bold and uh they make you feel confident all that good stuff just like a claire should you're like yeah, yeah. You, just, <laughs> yeah. you feel proud like right yeah <laughs> um so i'm gonna go through some like black history or just black figures and if you want to play you can kind of say like maybe what the design may look like a little bit or what the feel of those glasses may look like. Is that is that cool? Can we do that? Yeah, let's yeah, let's cool. do it. Yeah. Okay, first, Malcolm X. What what kind of glasses would y'all rock if y'all had a Malcolm X pair of glasses on your website? Well, we actually have some called the Clarks. Ooh. And people actually call them Malcolm X glasses. Mm -hmm. um, which one right here is one of those? I can't. I, if I reach, oh, like, anyway, yeah, it's, 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 like it's, 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 it's exactly like how Michael Mac X wore, like the the dark part of top, mm -hmm. uh, big frame, the bold, thicker part with the 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 gold rim undertone, yeah, right yeah. here. But it's a thick bold frame. You're gonna know. You're gonna make a statement. Yeah. Okay. It yeah. I, I saw good. those. They're right next to the Claire. I saw those. I saw. Yeah. Those. See. Yeah. Okay. Um. All right. Another one. Oprah Winfrey. If y'all were gonna make a pair of Oprah, if Oprah called y'all right now. She's like, "Hey, Brittany and Charles, I need me a pair of custom glasses that need to fit my personality." And of course, because I'm Oprah, after I get a pair, I'm gonna give a pair to a thousand people. What would those glasses look like? We would need to find a good weight, not something that's super lightweight. Um, that you would kind of suspect quality, but some people like lightweight glasses, something mm -hmm. not too heavy. Um, I would say maybe even round, like a round type. Um, I think I've seen her kind of with that, with a like a metal frame round, mm -hmm. but not like um, thin as kind of like the new age stuff, mm -hmm. like mm -hmm. the older classic glasses in like a like a tortoise. I Ooh. could see it. Mm -hmm. Ooh. This, yeah, maybe even green. I like this. Y'all, y'all, y'all doing yeah. your thing over here. Oprah, hit us up! Right, what's up? <laughs> um, all right, let's go maybe one more. Um, so RIP to the legend, the man, the myth, the Black Panther himself, Chadwick mm -hmm. Boseman. So if you were to design a pair for Chadwick Boseman, either him as a regular person or him as T'Challa, him as the Black Panther, what would those glasses look like? Obviously made out of vibranium, but besides that, but besides that, talk talk about your your design uh, around that. I gotta let the husband take this. He's hmm. he's no the design. I would say, of course, they gotta be black. They gotta have vibranium in it. Yeah. Uh, I'm thinking some bold kind of like like some sunglasses, mm. sunglasses. Um, mirror tint maybe mm -hmm. i can see that see that um uh, i think we should do a, a charity e element to these like if you buy these you know we send one dollar to mm, your, mm. Uh, colon cancer research mm -hmm. like mm -hmm. having to make it Love make it. sense there you go, yeah, there you go. i can Love see it. that for sure yeah there we go yeah. That's what we okay got. So th thank thank y'all for yeah. playing that little little game. That was I think fun. Yeah, yeah. Hey, Way to go! You. So creative. I like y'all podcast. Oh, thank <laughs> you. Come come back anytime. Come back anytime. <laughs> um, so again, if you're just joining us, we are here with Brittany and Charles Adams, the team behind Focus and Frame Eyewear. Head of Focus and Frame Eyewear.com. Get you a pair of glasses, some Claire's, some Clark's, Wait. some Devon's are on the way. Don't worry. Maybe <laughs> sometime 2021. Um, Got it. Write it down. So in, in some of your IG videos, you're able to kind of break down the, the science ish behind glasses and you talk about the the polycarbonates and the high index and i have no idea what you were talking about to be honest with you uh but i do appreciate that you explain the science behind it just in case people are new to buying glasses online um can you talk about like just why that's important to y'all as a as a brand as an industry to really make sure your customers know what they're buying and just know the the science behind it yeah um i think education is so important to the pivoting of an industry mm. um because the our industry is typically you go for your annual exam get your glasses you pick it out on the wall i want these ones and then you know they feel it and you come home so 
now it's the 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 paradigm is is changing and now people are questioning a bit more why are glasses expensive why is it done this way mm. um and so when you're changing that you have to the change has to be mirrored in your customer so now because when you go into a glasses retailer or to your optometrist office you have no idea what you're picking. You're just picking something and then your doctor is saying, okay, I, like they're doing the work. So you have to do a little bit more of the work, but once you understand it, it's just, it's done. It's like how people were like, I would never grocery shop online, um, which everybody was like, I'm not doing that. Right. But then, you know, the snow hit. Right. Or, you know, <laughs> pandemic hits. You're like, okay, so no, what you need from, you let know, let the store right it. now? Let me think about it, yeah. And so yeah. um, it's about changing mindsets and people have to learn how to do that, um, like the timing of that. So that's kind of the same thing what we do here. So with polycarbonate, it's really like your standard lens. Um, and I try not to make it too technical because I don't want to shun people away. Like, I don't want people to say that's too much. But it's really, really easy when you're thinking like a polycarbonate lens, it's just your regular lens. But if you have like a heavier prescription, um, and we can kind of get into what those are. We do it on our website and on our social media, what heavier prescriptions look like. You may want to get a high index lens. It just allows for it to be a little bit more clear, clear, a little bit more concave. <laughs> so your, your lenses won't be super thick. And that's the good part about us. I think we're so consultative. Mm -hmm. um, we know the fact that this is a new process where you go to some of our other online competitors, whatever you put in is what you're going to get. Um, and we've had, you know, now we've kind of filled hundreds of orders. And so now, <laughs> way to go, scale. Um, <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. That's big. But, That's big. but at this time, it's like we go over your um, your order. And, you know, for example, maybe three weeks ago, somebody put a polarized option on all of their glasses. Well, polarized means they're going to make them into sunglasses. Mm -hmm. um, and so I was like, I don't know if she wants it. So what we do is we just verify. It. And she was like, thank you so much for asking. Um, I did not want that. And I said, okay, well, you know, this is how much this was an upcharge. I'm going to refund you this and I'm going to get this process started. Customer not service. Come on, that. customer service. Service, <laughs> is, is service is key. And so we have that so much. And so that's why we on the front end try to educate our customers. Um, but then on the back end, we we help you from falling because we know that eventually this is going to be the status quo. Eventually, I'm going to know. Eventually, the educational piece will begin to minimize itself mm. and so we want to be a part of that journey we want to be a part of i got my first pre prescription glasses online and this is the experience i had and i have that loyalty to them um but you know because black women we just make sure everything good <laughs> yes y'all <Yes. laughs> yes. Yes, do 100 we do uh, so we're gonna do health talk so on your your website you do talk about how glasses can be used obviously to help your your eye health so can you just talk a little bit uh, about that a little bit more in details and then we want to learn about your own maybe health journeys throughout 2020 pandemic everybody's been struggling you know so can you talk a little yeah. bit about uh some things that you're trying to do in 2020 just to maintain your health during the pandemic you want, I can do the blood cells and you want to do the, the other health part? Yeah. Okay. Um, so um, with glasses, people really, you know, we don't realize a lot of things about how your health is um, indicated in so many parts and facets of our lives. So we're so easily like, oh, where's my glasses? Let me pick them up. But if you're not getting your eyes checked in a, like once a year or every two years, you could potentially be putting a um a prescription that does not fit your eyes and so it can make your vision worse mm. um it can give you headaches blurry uh blurry vision kind of mess up your stability um it's a lot more things that you 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 don't know that good glasses and good lenses benefit from and so that's what a uh, part of the educational piece 
that we don't want you to take glasses for granted and just we want people to think about it. Mm-hmm. Think about what you're putting on your glass on your face because we actually had a, a customer not too long ago was saying the glasses that we filled for her were um they were kind of blurry at the bottom. And so of course the customer aspect piece of it is um um okay, let's troubleshoot. Let's see what's going on. So what we had, thankfully, this person was close. So we were able to say, hey, um, what glasses do you wear? Well, we found out that they were uh, wearing five different pairs of glasses with at least three different prescriptions. Mm -hmm. And so, and we verified, (laughs) right. And we verified with our doctor's office that the prescription that we received was correct. Then we also checked that with the laboratory, the prescription part that we put in the lenses was matched what her doctor said. So we found out that it's not that our our glasses are wrong. Our glasses are the right glasses for you. You have to stop wearing the older glasses Mm -hmm. because you're putting your eyes to so many prescriptions. You're not going to take three different prescriptions for the same issue. Mm -hmm. Like you would be sick. Um, So that's kind of what we're having to tell people. And that's why um, glasses and the type of lenses that you have is so important. And even when you're, you know, ordering from, you know, overseas, a lot of these companies are kind of coming up with the lenses. You have to make sure the lens, I'm sorry, the lens fulfillment is up to the U.S. standards. And so our lens fulfillment is here. We make sure that um, our lenses are held to the right regulations and that they're going to be the perfect lenses for you where you lose that quality, you lose that uh, that touch and that craftsmanship from overseas. And so you kind of risk giving yourself bad, bad glasses. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Thank you for breaking that down. I like that line where you talked about, um, like you wouldn't take three different prescriptions for the same treatment. So don't do that to yourself with the glasses. I like that. Some people do, but you, yeah. you shouldn't. <laughs> Stop it! Don't wear old glasses. <laughs> yeah. All right. So far as the uh, the health for uh at Adams twenty twenty, what we're doing here, we're uh we're working out more now. Um, nice. Especially so drink the water, like oh yeah. Because <laughs> <laughs> you know everybody everybody got that quarantine weight. You know, so people mm-hmm. like not going nowhere for a while, not moving around. So now, uh, she's working out early in the morning, doing her walk. I do a uh, uh, bicycle or I do cycling classes uh eating better uh being mindful we put in our bodies you know taking our vitamins taking the elderberry in the morning things like that uh drinking more water and just just trying to eat better you're gonna tell them about the sign we have a sign oh yeah house. we have we have a sign on my door on my on my refrigerator so when i go in the kitchen i see it it says no cheese no bread we're on a mission Oh, nice. Yes. That reminder. So, Love it. Yeah, he got me. He was like, no, we got to do better. I'm like, okay. <laughs> <laughs> but I'm with him, so we're doing it together. Yeah. That's that's very important. I can tell you from, from our experience so far, pretty much everything that we've done health-wise has been together, which is, I think that is, it's key because it's yeah. so hard to, especially with someone you, you live with them, like mm-hmm. you're, you know, you basically share everything. So but like, it's really hard for one person to try to go down one journey if the mm-hmm. other person is not aligned. Um, especially when the person who starts the journey is the better cook. That part. <laughs> <laughs> I, have, yeah, I, have to, I, I have to agree, I have to agree with that definitely because like, I mean, one, one time she was doing keto, I was trying to do vegan and we kept clashing, like, you know what I'm saying? Nothing worked out perfectly mm-hmm. and you fail at that. So yeah. you do something together, you definitely stay, stay to the course. So I yeah. absolutely. Like that now. And you can hold each other accountable to yeah, exactly. what you're doing, exactly. what you're grabbing. <laughs> mm-hmm. um, exactly. so i do like the point we did have a an episode on kind of low grains and this the the benefit of trying to replace some of the usual grains with better grains so i'm gonna look to the queen a little bit to see can you maybe go through a few of those options as folks like these amazing atoms are looking to replace bread what are other good grains that you know, the atoms family is. and other we people will be able to to take advantage of yeah so we talked about kind of uh, the hierarchy of replacements so i'm a very big 
advocate of not trying to change everything at once because it's not going to be sustainable. So I always like to make changes come in waves. So I always suggest like the first time, if this is the first time that you are kind of trying to replace, uh, replace anything in your diet, do an easy switch, choose from, go from like white bread to like whole wheat bread or, or grain or whole grain bread, uh, something like that, just to get used to that. Um, and then kind of once you get used to that, then you can do things like if, you, if, if we're talking bread specifically, there's things called sprouted bread. Um, and so you always laugh when I start, when I start to nerd out. <laughs> so sprouted bread is basically made from sprouted seeds. Um, and it has more nutritional value. Um, it burns slower in the body. Um, so it, in terms of bread, I haven't actually even tried it. It's something that I would like to try. It's down at the health, health market right down the street from us. Um, but in terms of bread, from my research, that's some of the best bread that you can be consuming um, because it has so many added nutrients. I think that that's kind of the problem with the traditional like white bread is that it's a lot of empty calories um, in terms of, you know, it, it is providing a lot of uh, a lot of carbs without a lot of benefit. Mm -hmm. um, and so that's why that's why, unfortunately, it does you know, lead to so much weight gain because it's so you don't even you almost don't even notice it's there because it's so subtle but yeah, it does yeah. it, it it packs on you know a lot of extra calories a lot of extra everything without a lot of benefit so that's right. why i say if you're going to eat bread might as well get some bread that's actually you know going to give you some health benefits try some sprouted bread um but i'm not going to go too deep i can get yeah, really yeah. really really deep into this whole <laughs> but this that, is good information yeah, <laughs> you know if for, for breads try try that Nice. <laughs> we'll do. Thank you. This is my, my health consultant on, on a day to day, whether I want it or not. She's like, mm, don't eat that. You should eat this. Yeah. Thank you. Come here, uh, all right. 2021. All right. So 2020, I think, was a, again, very interesting year. I, I'm sure a very good branding year for a glassware yeah. company. Right. Um, but when you look at 2021, are there any exciting things that y'all are looking forward to or exciting things you're looking forward to giving to your, your customers and your community? Other than the Devon glasses. <laughs> <laughs> um, really scaling. Um, scaling, finding best products. Um, you know, we want to link up with some Black designers. Um, and we want to do that. I'm very, while we are very open to all, um, I believe that it's a time right now for us to show the world because they've obviously forgot. <laughs> that um you know that we we offer so much and you know 2021 we're definitely looking forward to it um but i think we can't miss the 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 good of 2020 um i really and we was talking about this the other day i think 2020 was the start of the black renaissance mm. um over mm. again um, because while we're experiencing so much oppression and having that visual to see that on the other end is so much energy being put into black businesses and growing, yeah. it's like they're popping up left and right. Yeah. And so in the in the variety and the fact, the camaraderie that we're all linking up and saying, hey, you know, be on my podcast or, or post me and I'm going to post you and I'm going to push this out to my people. Like, that's just amazing. And those are the foundational things that are going to launch us all in 2021. Mm -hmm. um, so I just want, like, I'm so excited about 2021. I'm excited about tomorrow. Um, yeah. Yeah. Not, <laughs> not that anything is just specific, but just every day it's just like we're hit with, like, something like, wow, like, that came out of nowhere. And so I just think that 2021 is going to be leveling up, scaling Mm -hmm. doing what you know making best practices better um collaborating more um and really becoming that brand there's an opening um especially in our industry our industry is pretty much monopolized mm -hmm. by one company well it's two companies that merged to one and they they i mean i didn't mean to get into that but um <laughs> but it's really important that um there's one company that um makes like 70% of the glasses in the world. Mm. Um, and so, and all the designers, so people want to design this and design that. Well, it's one company, you know, running it. And so I feel like because that's happening, 
disruption is possible. We right. just got to get in there. So I want 2021 to be um, the disruption televised. Mm. That's what yes. I want. love it. You, you said a lot of good things that I want to talk about or a little harp on a little bit. Well, first thing you talked about is the fact that there's, you know, this major corporation that has over 50%, 70% of the market share. And I feel like that's the case in a lot of different industries. When we look at the soda industry, you know, there's like three companies that own all the brands. When we look at the car company, there's like five companies that own all the brands, the board gaming company. Um, so I think it's important for amazing brands like you all and other people that are listening to again disrupt that get in there and really take a stronghold of a certain segment or the whole segment hey y'all sky's the limit do your thing oh um, but y'all y'all got this uh, <laughs> another thing that you said that i absolutely loved is the black renaissance i knew, I knew that, that. <laughs> I, can see, I can see the lights in his brain no so i won't completely nerd out so he's, he's the health nerd i'm like the black history nerd so one of my favorite times in history is the harlem renaissance all right so obviously you know black wall street dope time but another amazing time that i love is the harlem renaissance and to your point i think the new harlem is the internet Right? Oh, for mm. sure, right. for sure. People are, yeah. are migrating. No rules. No rules. People are migrating to the internet. They're able to create, share ideas, support one another. So I think, yeah, 2021 and through maybe even 2030 is going to be the, the new Black Renaissance. I'm fully in support of that. Love it. Yes. Let's do it. Um, so we've already been kind of pubbing all throughout, but can y'all give from, from your own passion your own heart your own soul where can the people go to support you what do you have to offer them i don't know if there's any type of discount code y'all can give out but you know from your heart let let the people know uh, uh, I feel uh, like uh, I'm uh, talking uh, the most so much. So that's I'm like, I don't want to keep say, talking. Say, folks at frameoutwear.com. <laughs> hit, hit us up now. Uh discount code you can use uh I meant this for you. Uh yeah, let's just use that one. Yeah. Or do you all want a special one? Yeah, yeah, give us a special one. Yeah. yeah there you go, so there you go. Do you want um give it give us what you want? What you want uh, your what you want your discount discount code to be? Um, so TH4. True health forever, and then whatever you know discount you want to give them, just put that percentage at the end. And I don't want to mention any numbers, you know, I'll leave it up to your own. Well, we give a standard 10 10 percent, yes, so we'll be it'll be th410. Perfect, there you go, people. So if y'all need some glasses, hit up focus and frame eyewear.com, use the discount code th410 to get your discount and keep on ordering. You know, you need a pair for Sunday, you need a pair for when you go out, you need a pair for when you read, you know, just go ahead and swag out, get when, you a few you pairs. When you, I'm, getting, I'm getting me a Zoom <laughs> pair. Exactly. Right. Um, I also just wanted to say, but before we uh, end, um, I love what you all are doing. Um, yeah. We gotta get the we gotta get the the board game. We need to do yeah. that. So yeah. as soon as actually we'll just pre order so we can just be on the list or whatever. But I love what y'all are doing. We like love to see black couples doing, it. and it's not like you know nobody is better or worse, but representation matters. And you know sometimes entrepreneurship and and building a business can be lonely, even when there's mm. two. But just mm. that camaraderie. Um, we see y'all hustling and we want to do the same thing and just everybody's leveling up. It's beautiful. <laughs> it's beautiful. Thank y'all so much for having us. Thank you. Thank you. Um, I wanted to, to touch on one last thing that you said, because it's basically why we're here today. Um, you said that education is the biggest piece to change an industry. And I did want to kind of use that to wrap, wrap things up because that is exactly why we started this overall company, the true health forever is because we, we noticed that there, there needs to be a change in the health industry. And especially within the, the black community within the African diaspora, you know, we noticed that, you know, we, we do a lot of research and, you know, we were looking at the stats and just saying like, you know, if things continue on how how they are, it's not looking good for us as a people wow. in the future. Um, so that's why we kind of took it upon ourselves on like, what can we do to change the trajectory? Um, and so that's why we started this podcast. That's why we started this 
this company to try to just educate folks on, hey, these are the things that we should be doing to, you know, to live longer, to, to make sure that we are optimizing the way we live, we're improving our quality of life. And not only that, but passing all of these habits, all of these lessons, all of this education and learning down to future generations so that we can really change the trajectory and start to, um, improve how we are, how we are, not only how we are perceived from in the health world, but how we are operating within the health world. Um, and just truly the knowledge that we are able to care for ourselves so that we don't have to rely so much on, you know, on others. Um, Cause you know, we, history has shown that the medical industry does not always have our best interests in mind. So let's take hold of it of our yeah. own health <laughs> and change the trajectory. So uh, we're both kind of, uh, you know, in, the, in that trajectory, eye health, holistic health. So prioritize your health. Mm -hmm. And that's my wrap up. I'm gonna let you take it. Beautiful, beautiful. <laughs> All right. Well, thank y'all for joining us, Brittany and Charles Adam, Focus and Frame Eyewear. We appreciate you. And of course, to all the amazing people watching and listening, we appreciate y'all as well. Thank you for tuning in to another episode of the True Health Forever podcast, where we shall live our best life through the lens of holistic health. I'm your host, Devon Travell, creator of Black Wall Street, the board game. My name is Sinclair, aka the, the health, health nerd. nerd. We hope y'all stay healthy. We hope y'all stay mentally wealthy. And of course, we hope y'all stay, stay true. true.